<laughs> this next guy is always hot. <laughs> he is. He is, man. He's a. So, hey, you, you got probably got a whole new act this week, right? <laughs> yeah. Please give it up for Rod Goat Sperling. He writes a whole new spot every week. It's not all new. A little tweakage. A little tweakage. But anyway, first of all, I cannot believe no one went Harry Callis. No one's talked. Everyone in this room must have the same reaction they heard the news. They told me at work. I was like, how are you? Oh my god, out of here! <laughs> and I was like, and they were like, oh no. And I'm like, in the class, like, too soon? Should I wait for the seventh inning stretch? <laughs> I thought, nobody plays Harry Cows. I was shocked. That's good. Shame on you, Patrick. <laughs> I emailed it back to Sunday. Really? Right. We're texting. So, um, yeah, so the, the Indian winter continues outside. How about this weather? <laughs> Indian winter, right? How come we don't call it Indian winter? We call it the other thing, Indian summer, right? Where they only get credit. Commit a little genocide on people and can't insult them. And how did we come up with the Indian summer? I was thinking about that. And I didn't imagine, like, the pilgrim was like, oh, John Adams, I have a good idea. To make up for them, it's wiping out the entire population. You know those two weeks in the middle of October, November? Why don't we name it after the engines? Engines. <laughs> I like that. I think make up for it. What do you say? <laughs> and other cultures didn't hear that? Do you think in Germany you know, they call it Jewish summer? <laughs> I love the Jewish summer! <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, I was, what else? Uh, the, I do the internet dating, and I often compare the internet dating to going on job interviews. And I actually got a few part-time jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I wasn't filling that position too well. <laughs> Here I thought I was brainstorming my ass off. That's what I call, call sex brainstorming. Yeah, I was dating this, um, this woman, and I showed her it was over. She knew I was a comedian, and right after telling me that her husband had put himself, or her ex-husband put herself in the hospital by beating himself up, she then followed it up by, and everything's not a joke, Rod. And I was like, wow, because I can think of a million right now. Don't shut up. But an homage to the girlfriend thing, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my last long-term girlfriend, I'm going to do a tribute to her. It's a uh, three-part multimedia presentation. And um, it starts out with a little song. It goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vaginas that make them and sing. The vaginas that make them and sing. They'll throw your shit in the ring. There's no other way to explain. Their urgent need to explain. Again and again and again. <laughs> it's the vaginas that make them insane. Thank you. Yes, um, our, our next uh, is our uh, artwork. And I'm one of the few uh, people who work in this medium. Oh, I, I failed to mention that my, my ex girlfriend was a smoking hot Asian. And by smoking hot Asian, I mean she, she, she rubbed her cigarette and she constantly complained that room knuckle. <laughs> but anyway, I'm one of the few people who work in uh, uh, Magic Horner, me and that new guest prick. So, here's, my, here's a picture of when I first met my girlfriend. X. Oh, yeah. It says, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when we broke up. I don't like you anymore. I don't like you anymore. Says, I don't like you. I don't like you either. So there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> next is a poem. <laughs> soul was black as her skin was yellow. <laughs> the slits of her eyes were open than her mind.
an abstract voice and crooked smile. She would claim she was always in style. <laughs> she could take great pictures of my broken heart. The only place she could drive safely was to insanity. <laughs> Math skills like that of a professor. A puppy in a blush sauce was simply to die for. <laughs> she would say things like, if Hitler were alive, he would be one of my favorite five. She would go down on me and she suck and she blew. She would look up into my eyes and say, you're such a cheap Jew. <laughs> yes, I was dating an anti-Semitic Asian. She did not care for people of my persuasion. You may ask why I stayed with her so long. <laughs> Oy vey, I've been cursed with a very small schlong. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. She had a very small pattern. Yes. <laughs> Before I go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was good with it. Fucking bongos. Get the fuck out. There's a coffee house somewhere waiting for that shit. Right there. <laughs>